Hi, Falco. Hi, Eric. What's Hi. up? Hi, welcome. Well, <laughs> I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <laughs> I, uh, well, uh, we're, we're starting the first uh, Wawama today. Uh, Absolutely. The first in series. Uh, the first in series. And uh, Wawama stands for What a Week. That's the, that's the progress update um, uh, that we bring out on Medium every week. That we're agenda. So for today, we've got a lot to discuss. Um, uh, first of all, the journey. The journey is about the, uh, the um, deployer to protocol bit. Uh, we already uh, brought out an, uh, a nice article on medium.com, uh, but Falco will explain a bit more. Uh, the current status of our uh, whole uh, uh, protocol, the highlights, uh, the hackathon, the upcoming hackathon uh, in Manila for, for March, uh, some community insights, uh, development progress, and next steps for, uh, for the upcoming uh, weeks and months. Okay, next slide. Perfect. Let's go to the next slide. Shall I take it over from here? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, the journey. So let's go back to 2021. As you know, we started, as most of you know, we started as Circus NFT Marketplace, which is a deployer. Now we have been in through, into a pretty intensive journey because we have been able to manage it from here, um, back in those days from NFT Marketplace deployer to a protocol let me go through it i think eric it would be a good idea if we go um briefly through the process how we went from version one to version five ultimately and maybe it would be good yeah. if you would be able to pick out the highlights of these um because we cannot go through all the changes and no, uh, of course. pivots of course. we have been yeah. creating but what are the main points in your opinion how we've been able to sell so to to explain a bit about the journey, uh, we started at version version one. That was the marketplace builder tool. Uh, right. People uh, could uh, utilize the the tool to make their own marketplace, and uh, hopefully hopefully uh, got what they what they needed with uh, with all the toolings we made for them. Um, and we thought, well, this is not really scalable. This is not really agnostic. Uh, not really inviting to to be used by the majority of developers and and creators. So what we did was we uh, we uh, 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 developed even further. We we got to version three and four and five. And I'll I will skip the three, four, and five bit of the three and four bit. I will directly go to the protocol bit. Because now we have an SDK and now we have the page builder. And with those two combined, we can now um, enable no coders and low coders to create their own D app. So it's not only a marketplace builder tool. Now we have the end to end solution with all the products you need to build your own D app with, uh, uh, with your own currency, currencies, with your own favorite chains. Uh, with your own favorite uh, uh, front end and back end solutions. So yeah, this is this is the this is our protocol in a nutshell. And I would advise everyone who wants to read more about this evolving and revamping of Circus uh, with our uh, 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 Circus Medium uh, Medium dot com article, uh, Deployer to Protocol. Yeah, perfect. I will put it in the description. And the viewers of this video can actually read back the, the whole journey, yeah. basically, and read about our vision, how we actually become became an open platform and uh, write the whole journey with us. Let's go to the next yeah. one. Yeah. So basically what, what's, what Eric was mentioning is like, we have been through a journey and through a journey from um, an NFT marketplace deployer to a protocol, it needs a whole new brand. In fact, like, uh, I mean, not a whole new brand, but at least the brand name should uh, resonate what you're actually uh, envisioning, to do. what you're yeah. envisioning, mm -hmm. right? So we're not just a deployer anymore. And yeah, as you can see, Circus's Web3 protocol and -end solutions became infinity. And that's why we have the basis of the logo, which is showing an infinity logo rather than the old mm -hmm. logo was not showing that. So I think, um, yeah, 
Welcome to a new era of the Web3 protocol. Anything to add, Eric? No, no, no. This is bullish enough. <laughs> cool. So next this slide. this yeah. this brings us to the next stage, and the next stage is now we are actually out of the dungeon of the the, the developing dungeon or how you call it. Um, still under the surface though, but now we are getting some real uh, product traction because now you can see a full set of of the working product. Um, as Eric mentioned, like a front end, uh, front end agnostic, uh, back end agnostic, smart contract manager, and full end to end solution. And we are in the stage right now where our product is actually working, fully working. So yeah. we are in an, some kind of, I'm not sure if I say correctly, Eric, it's like an internal stage of testing. Uh, yeah, yeah, Falco, you you mentioned correctly. Um, this is this is in 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 some way the the validation stage. Yeah. So uh, we invite every user, if it's a Web two user, Web three user, or everything in between, to to utilize our our, our protocol uh, with no coding skills or a medium coding skills or like a full stack uh, developer. It doesn't matter. We have uh the the right toolings for the right uh user so uh this is this is uh the stage for for checking if 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 we are uh for troubleshooting and 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 polishing yeah 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 so if i understand correctly we are doing that through the hackathon and the hackathon is the moment of product validation in the stage we are in right now yeah yeah, indeed. Yeah. And and I received many questions because many people are asking, like, when are you doing, doing the marketing? When are you actually blasting the whole circus? So circus will be known in the public everywhere. This is something we see differently because we always have been living in product first. That approach simply means like it doesn't make sense to us to actually do the marketing massively on a base when we don't have a utility of the product. So what we have been aiming yeah. for is building the product first, which we have right now. We are in, a, in the utilizing stage where our product can be validated through a specific set of users. Through the hackathon, we are going to validate it. And from that point, we can check it, check, tick the box and consider it from there like, okay, now we have the product validation stage. We have found the product market fit. And from here, yeah. we are ready to yeah. scale up, which is stage two. And right now, if yeah. you look at the map, it's, it looks ambitious, but this is something we are striving for and what we are aiming for. And with yeah. the right partnerships yeah. we have created, we can we already mentioned one, which is Tim Draper's startup house, known from the American yeah. billionaire in, in the United States. He is very known and and he has a funding arm, a funding arm and investment network called uh, Draper Startup House, where he's incubating several types of projects. And throughout these locations, we will be able to actually skill and help their users, their entrepreneurs, those who have dreams to actually realize their startup dreams, perhaps. And we are yeah. facilitating this process and we yeah. can do that through multiple ways. So our scaling mm -hmm. is just, um, it, it's a strategic move because we are going to target, target it from a local perspective and allowing them to grow to a global um, uh, mm -hmm. perspective. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. that's basically yep. how we are going to sail towards the scaling state, right? From that moment, our token, the XW3 token, would have actual utility. Yeah. And that yeah, would yeah, make yeah. sense when you're going to market a product with the user yep. base, yep. with the community. And from there, we can have yep. something tangible which results yeah. in creating more propositions, which is coming up, multiple yeah. propositions, right? Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. A lot of propositions and a lot of uh, places we want to show our faces. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then it makes sense to, to start the partnerships. Yeah, I mean, to scale up the partnerships, even more collaborations. Yeah. We're already doing yeah, it right yeah, now. Yeah. This week we have managed yeah. the partnership previous week we did and next week we have some more interesting partnerships to announce even more yeah exciting. yeah we we don't gonna talk about it in this uh not yet uh, Wawama. Stay tuned, guys. not yet no no no, yeah. no. <laughs> okay so the when we were looking at the the document of the the ww 
there was a huge list of uh, developers uh, progress basically yeah yeah I would suggest the users yeah. to go through it by themselves, right? It's too much to actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too much one. to address in this. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. better to show yeah. the outcome. That's it's a lot. It's a lot. We've done a lot, uh, but to point out one uh, of the of the development uh, uh, goals we had is the is the page builder, and the reason why I'm uh, so bullish on the page builder is because it's 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 a Squarespace, Wix, uh, Figma, Chakra UI combination on which you can build yet, own... no yet. no no of course of course okay. of course of course of course but i'm i'm bullish i'm bullish sorry um uh it's 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 in essence yeah the way the way to go um uh coding as a no coder you got me so i can i can now create a, a d app as a no coder because i don't know shit about programming i have no programming skills whatsoever so i can build my own dm yeah and utilize it scale it manage it and do all kind of stuff with it for Sim every niche and simply by dragging and dropping like lego blocks <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 this is this is the way how canva actually was able to create gain traction and accelerate right is that a good indeed, example of indeed. this similar yeah. solution yeah. we have Indeed, indeed, it created it created designers with non-existing designer skills. You mm. know, so they 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 didn't have to uh, 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 have uh, experience in Photoshop or uh, Premiere Pro or what yeah. whatever or Illustrator. They can now utilize Canvas, Canva and create business cards, t-shirts, uh, old web pages, uh, nicely edited tables. So, pff, it's crazy utility. And and now we've got something sort of like, yeah. Kind of, so, yeah. So, so basically, the, the if you look at, the, at a regular, uh, any random business, so what mm -hmm. Confi is actually is like a building block with input they are putting in to create marketing materials and the output is a bigger reach, a bigger audience they can attract, yeah. they can message yeah. them. And simply because it's so easy to utilize. Yes, 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 yes. So that's 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 only one one achievement we, we did in the in the in the last week. And mentioned in the in the WAW, but uh we will address this. A lot more in upcoming uh, yeah. uh, wawamas and uh, videos, and Mikey will talk about it too as well. The CTO. Yes, he will absolutely explain the the ins and outs the in depth. Yeah, and a, yeah. a comprehensive uh, go through. Yeah, this has a layout manager. So what you see in the bottom is kind of kind of like different on the top, like the blocks that we see that is from the main is different compared to the one that is the block that is offered on the header. So it means like if, if you're actually, if you have tried uh, using Keynote or PowerPoint presentation, uh, PowerPoint, you know, you have this uh, uh, a layout, uh, a master layout where it is similar to that. Uh, and then from here, they can actually configure each block. For example, this one on the header, I want to center uh, the logo. I can do that I just display the logo itself. Configure, let's say, you know, like um, uh, change the, the spacing there. So, and then you can just like, they want to remove some blocks. They want to save it. This is going to be the look of their of their uh, their web app. So, yeah, uh, there's still um, you know a couple of things here to be done. We still we're still adding uh, more blocks so that people could continue to actually add it um but yeah i mean this is going to be like uh, uh this is how we will be seeing the uh the hackathon soon so they can actually have you know each what, what's going to happen is that each uh apps will be unique depending on how they configure the blocks depending on what type of pages they're working on so yeah that's uh that's for me <laughs> Yeah, so th this is this is great news for people who want to uh, brand their D app, like put an exactly. individual yeah. brand. 
this this is mm-hmm. so important that you don't yeah. want to have the standard, you know, like everyone else. So they can yeah, customize everything, right? Literally yeah, everything. Exactly. Colors, bigger, bigger, fonts, yeah. logo, right. fonts as well. It's, it, it's like yeah, it's like a WordPress, GrooveFunnel, Swix site. Yeah, kind of indeed. thing. Yeah, yeah. Template. Yeah. It's a template. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like that, but uh, uh, the the thing is that it's already Web three enabled. So if they have listed something, if they have created something, you know, that's gonna like uh, they will be able to transact with the blockchain. That's a difference. Uh, it's also mobile first, so they could, you know. Oh, it's it's, it's, a it's automatically mobile first. <laughs> yep. Swix so Studio. Oh, that's a huge update. That's a huge update, man. What can we yeah. tell about it, Eric? I mean, yeah. What can we tell about it? Well, it's 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 open alpha after the hackathon. So we is believing first. Sorry. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Indeed, indeed. We're not an MVP anymore. So we we're gonna utilize the whole studio with our first hackathon. Uh, with Draper House Manila, um, and this is this is in like we already discussed. This is this is in essence the the validation stage. But but the whole Circus Studio is changed, and it's made it it made it more user friendly. Uh, we're we're not there yet, uh, so to speak. But uh, 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 in in upcoming weeks months, the UI will will definitely improve. But our first Circus Studio will be available after the hackathon. That's a major update. It's a huge update. So basically, I also want to call out all the entrepreneurs, enthusiasts for Web3, uh, whether you are a business, existing business in Web2 or Web2.5 and you're exploring, sign up because you would have access to this Circus Studio where you can actually start click and deploy within a matter of minutes with our no code solution. And if you want to customize yeah. it even more, you can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, for the circus studio, uh, I will, I will, um, uh, provide you guys with some, uh, some footage I, uh, I shot earlier, um, some demo demo footage. Hi guys. Today I will show you how to add the pancake swap token to the currency listing. This can be any token, but I will list the cake token. And this means that after this procedure, the cake token can be utilized on any NFT marketplace, DApp, uh, or a DeFi solution, Launchpad, you name it. Uh, let's go. So first click add, make sure you find out the right token address, and copy and paste. So now, Click add. It will ask you to confirm the transaction so it can be uploaded to our currency listing. And our smart contract will find out if there is enough liquidity with the token paired and if there's a, a DEX router available for the token. Uh, so the transaction is still pending. And in a few seconds, we will see if it got approved. There you go. Thanks for watching. And now we're just authenticating sign it so that you know we'll be able to deploy uh, a multi-chain contract. So if you can see, uh, we have the BSC contract already deployed. We're gonna do this now for the Polygon network. Okay, so let me just uh, confirm this. There we go. And I should be able to deploy this contract on Polygon. So this is how the multi-chain in um, functionality works for for the the app so the once you deploy an app it's um is a, it is a multi-chain app so that's the thing so let me refresh it so you can see now we have polygon sign all right now we are going to deploy um a single edition collection contract uh, eip 721 let's click on deploy now and fill in the name Shiba 
0.721. Deploy now. Let's confirm a transaction. Done. And now we have to wait a, bit, wait a little bit. Wait a little bit more. Wait for it. There it is. Deployment successful. Let's check out the contract in Polygon Scan. I mean in the deployed contracts first. There it is. Check it on Polygon Scan. And there it is. Creator. Yes. All the details in there. It's fresh. Fresh. Freshly deployed. Let's check out the TX the details. Cool. Let me refresh it a little bit. One more. So basically what we did is we deployed this EIP721 contract on Polygon. Yes. So you get an idea how the UI look look and feels uh, right now. And I, I narrate some stuff. So And they can actually try it themselves as well. So they can see the yeah, of course. Video and they can try it themselves as well. But you have to sign up for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the token migration, the token migration, we made an article uh, on Medium as well. And here we explain the different stages we need to uh, check before the migration. Uh, I shot some some videos as well, some reels, and they, those are yeah. available on uh, on, uh, great, on Instagram. Great explanations. Why I, yeah, why I explain the utility of the new token and yeah. why we why it was a was a necessity to to change the old circus token uh, utility to the new yeah. circus token utility. Yeah. So I, I I don't want to go too much in depth because uh, I already explained it. Um, if you can uh, share the links in the video description, that would be absolutely. Awesome, uh, Poco. Yeah, it's also um, okay. in the medium article of the yeah. WAW. So users can actually um, check it out and yeah, feel free to uh, to reach out to us. Leave some comments. Yeah, yeah. yeah, leave some comments, ask your questions, and we will address those questions in the upcoming uh, uh, WAW and uh, WAWAMA, WAW AMA. Yeah, that would be uh, something like a hybrid, right? Like of the yeah. uh, discussing and showing things from this and then yeah got it all right yeah let's go on to move on to the next one the next the new circus dot app is one yeah of well uh maybe you can uh share your screen uh and go over uh some some details some uh some some details in our new website so here we are with the website ui circus dot app ready for deployment the yeah, hero pending release pending yeah. release indeed the hero section very clear i've explained it already but here's the important part dividing the two yeah. types of audiences no code and local yeah right? yeah 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 here we make the shift uh, between the no coders and the low coders so the no coders get a great understanding of how our whole ecosystem works with the the evm compatibility the key differentiators all the yeah. all the things you need to know as a as a no coder yeah. And the low coder will be uh, will be sent to our developers uh, portal in a way, so they get all the uh, info they need on the SDK, the GraphQL, the CLI, all the all the the dev thingies. All of, the things uh, that the no code solution doesn't want to know about it. Or no, no, indeed, it, right? indeed, indeed. So yeah, we are yeah, yeah. dividing it accordingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the no code audience will basically stick on this current website right so they can proceed yeah. with yeah this is this is in essence for all the all the web two uh web two and a half uh kind of folks that want to utilize circus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah choosing their skins we have multiple different skins but we will elaborate yeah. on that in a later session i guess where we actually show yeah. the skins with the functionalities and yeah. its yeah. features and look and feel yeah, I already explained a bit in some reels and uh, yeah. I made a, an, a Circus Medium article about it. You can find it back on uh, circusmedium.com. Yeah. All the available change, uh, the multi, uh, multi chain support on our uh, ecosystem. And we will be adding one extra in a few days. Which is? 
which is yeah i cannot uh, i cannot tell yet right or or can i i can i can whatever uh it's uh iotx iotx so the 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 well i think the main competitor of iota and it's uh it's 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 building it's building those guys are really great and they are a great support of our it's of promising our what they're building and they're real contenders yeah. in my opinion it, yeah 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 so we we're gonna utilize their chain as well yeah nice yeah. Okay. enable cool. users to use the chain yeah yeah we will announce this partnership uh in the next week yeah this is a sneak peek for you guys so yeah it's, it's good that you're <laughs> watching this video yeah Grow as you go, as it mean, go. because we actually want to grow entrepreneurs, right? And and businesses. That's where we stand for. And what does it mean, grow as you go? Progressive. Well, yeah, progressive D apps. So uh it, the whole system will be evolving with the user, with the creator, with uh with all com contributors of mm -hmm. uh, of of the circus protocol and um well this is mostly done by the circus skins and uh and the and the sdk so people can utilize those those two to expand or change or uh, sorry to interrupt, but i think the good thing is like the no coders are able to build with building blocks like lego basically and the modules are part of that would the modules yep. be uh, a catalyst for them in order to accelerate with uh, being able to choose which modules they probably need or might want to utilize for yeah them? yeah 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 those are those are interchangeable as well so <laughs> yeah if i uh, if i'm uh if i want to add a new feature to my web 3d app mm -hmm. i can add a building block to that page via the uh the the page builder just by clicking and so, dragging and dropping clicking dragging dropping indeed so mm -hmm. uh for instance if i'm if i'm uh, uh utilizing a, a music skin i have a video play of a music player mm -hmm. and a playlist but if i want to have a jukebox, jukebox feature yeah. so people can uh, uh, listen to the music i want to have them listen to i can edit in a later stage just mm -hmm. on the fly cool cool yeah and another example and this is a bit uh well this is a teaser for the next uh waw mm -hmm. um and our new partnership as well uh but uh, a, a great feature we we added is the is the is the possibility to uh to have a payment block as well a little teaser and basically it, like start local and accept glo a payments local currencies global yes indeed 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 yeah let's see next yeah. week so yeah, yeah yeah that's cool yeah that's cool right i think this is an interesting point because i have many questions from all the different types of people like there is an open sea. There is a looks rare. There are those big giants where you can actually start selling your NFTs and you have the audience that you're looking for because the volume is there. How does the yeah. circus differentiate from that? You know, I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what does it mean? I got you. I got you. Yeah. Well, there are, there, there are a few components. That's a few components, but uh, uh, one is um, if you are deploying your 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 own collection, you, you mint your own collection on OpenSea, and yeah. you have your whole collection there. It still needs a lot of eyeballs on your project to make it um, sellable, mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean that if you uh, if you uh, if you are on OpenSea, it uh, creates traction right away. Mm -hmm. because you still need to bring your own community and you still need to make your own marketing to make sure your collection will be highlighted in the in the in the uh, open sea right and the fact that you are just a little fish in a big ocean with other that's right yeah 
yeah, yeah any other that's fish. right that's right so so what we done what we've done is we made the aggregator and in this aggregator we aggregate all the data from OpenSea, foundation LuxRare, magic eden uh uh, 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 uh shiobi no what's the name well blur? a few blur. a few yeah blur yeah yeah blur yeah yeah uh but all those all those uh nft marketplaces and uh we we can aggregate those data so we can uh give you the same traction as an opus c and the same traction as a rareable <laughs> and and um um because we are a community project with a governance system mm -hmm. people can fold up the marketplaces people can um uh fold uh, up any launchpad any uh, prediction market any DeFi solution made with circus mm -hmm. or That's... or any uh existed collection All right from right. open sea yeah and here's the thing this is the thing where where the real power comes in because i strongly believe that you know this is for this decade that we are creating the adoption for in the upcoming years not just two years three years now i personally think our aggregator will be able to actually aggregate different types of marketplaces that being deployed in circus as well from let's say an 18 plus uh, like only pants uh types mm -hmm. of of uh, marketplaces from all different types of creatives on, on the platform music artists video um yeah. real estate as well yeah so here comes yeah. the power if you look at this like imagine this there are 100 different types of real estate marketplaces deployed from different countries around the world whether it's from colombia uh, miami uh, south of spain uh, Asia, uh, Dubai, uh, anywhere, anywhere. There are different types of marketplaces and we will be able to aggregate, aggregate all those objects from their marketplaces and aggregate it in our circus real estate section. Yeah. Imagine yeah. what, how that would, um, what, what philosophy, what power, what types of reach we can actually yeah. achieve. So you get yeah. marketplace uh yeah and even and aggregated it, per niche yeah yeah and 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 even and even um uh, uh uh designers or developers or um uh copywriters or well we can we can uh create some aggregation uh, niches for people and scales as well like, right? a like, a, like, a, like a service provider, like a service provider, like a Fiverr or a Skillshare or uh, well, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And they would be able to support the projects, the, the the businesses, companies, projects that are being launched on Circus. Indeed, they will become Indeed. their suppliers. So we yeah. create one big yeah. ecosystem. Yeah. Promise. Yeah. Let's elaborate yeah. on that in a later stage as well in a different session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are the metrics? Yeah, okay. We just the products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still in development. Yeah. All the users. Yeah. This is important. This is the heart of the token utility, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, people can uh, look it up for themselves. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Roadmap. Mm -hmm. Amazing roadmap. It's in the, we have yeah, been it's in the light paper as well. Yeah, but the light paper is not public yet for the public. Mm -hmm. It's only mm -hmm. available for selected uh, relationships, VCs, funds, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. partners only the light paper will be released for the public in a later stage uh yeah but you know we have been checking many oh this one no this one should be in a later stage um uh, mm -hmm. yeah a lot of them have has been checked already checked already q2 mm -hmm. q3 well i am not going to elaborate on them yet as of this no. moment but 
it's it's huge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Three guys with three a ugly dream. guys. <laughs> <laughs> three guys with a dream. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So yeah, that's the new UI basically, and um, yeah, very soon. Okay, exciting well, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Twelve chains deployed. Uh, yeah, we've yeah. got twelve plates de- uh, chains deployed already. Uh, we mentioned it in uh, in an article as well, and we uh, made a, a Twitter thread and some uh, some visuals on uh, mm-hmm. on Instagram which is uh viewed a lot of times look at this b and b avalanche polygon Genesis, phantom chronos crypto.com mm-hmm. solo harmony ethereum side chains as well arbitrum optimism moonbeam near polka dots and a near yeah aurora eric what, what's what's what why why are we so bullish on this and why are many people developers who wants to deploy on their chains why are they bullish on the different types of change we're offering here well every chain needs his needs his transaction volume that's what it defines to be a good chain or it doesn't you know or isn't it is a okay let me start over Every, every chain uh, needs its uh, its um, transaction volume. So if a, if a, if a chain doesn't has a transaction, it is probably failing. <laughs> so, and with all these chains that we're showing up here, like Avalanche, Polygon, uh, Phantom, Phantom, uh, yeah. Kronos, those 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 chains uh, have a lot a lot of community members and a lot of users and a high high uh, transaction volume especially transaction arbitrum volume. as well and optimism that's what we can expect a lot of things from in the upcoming yeah indeed years indeed and uh, yeah and every chain brings its own features and its own yeah. its own gas fees and uh, functionality and we are enabling every chain to deploy on circus yeah. so the the users can deploy their own uh, D apps, and they can choose multiple chains. So not one, but multiple chains mm-hmm. for uh, um, uh, for that D app. Oh, wow. and that's 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 crazy utility. They because, can choose. Uh, it, they can choose it, switch it on the fly. On the fly, and they can also uh, choose the connected uh, currencies with those chains. Yes. Seeing is believing, so we will release it soon for the public, and they can yeah, yeah. see it themselves. They, you can already check uh, uh, out uh, a better.circus.app. You can uh, uh, check out which chains are active right now. Yeah, cool. All, All right. right, the circus data room. This is an interesting part, especially for now. We are an early stage uh, company working towards product validation stage and scaling from here. We have the investment opportunity in our seed round. So we have a lot of requests already from, yeah, pretty big um, companies and uh, known companies as well from, yeah, Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley area. Uh, and we are welcoming more interesting parties to collaborate with us. We have set up here with everything prepared, the company documents, financials, investment documents, partnerships, uh, MOAs, uh, the product demo as well, which you can see here in a video. Investment documentations, uh, the light paper teaser, and t- token economics. So we are welcoming you as a potential um, strategic partner, or perhaps you know interesting parties who should um, collaborate with us in any way in order to, yeah, let our circus accelerate to further highs and we are welcoming you yeah yeah was that a bit well okay spoken. yeah okay well spoken hackathon update 
Wow. This one is uh, what I'm excited for. I think first thing we have to explain first is that we had to postpone our hackathon uh, for a reason, obviously for a reason. And maybe you can take it over from here, Eric. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, well, the, the postponing had to do with uh, with a with a page builder, in in essence. So uh, that that that's our uh, new upgrade to the whole protocol, the whole ecosystem. And we needed a bit more time to create those functions and make it happen for no coders. For the for the Circus Hackathon update, it's uh, yeah we we did a postponing uh, to uh, 10 11 March. It's a it's a it's a whole weekend. Uh, it's for 100 attendees. It's an in person hackathon as well. Uh, and because it's a validation of our whole ecosystem, we had to take some more uh, development time to make it all happen. Um, the our latest uh, change of the of the protocol uh, is the page builder in essence and uh, the 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 building the building blocks you know the the uh, the Lego bricks that you can utilize to make your own D app in in minutes um, and this is this is something that needs to be uh, that needs to be polished a bit more and uh, then uh, be evaluate, uh, evaluated. Uh, validated, <laughs> then validated with the with the hackathon. Sure, sure. And this is this is it, it's a crucial part of the no code solution because this will prove just Indeed. like as Canva is doing it with um, uh, dragging, dropping, filling in the colors. That's basically yep. what you can do with Circus as well and launch your own D app with no code experience. Um, yeah. and knowledge you can deploy it within yeah. a matter of minutes that's the power yeah. of, i guess and that's what we want to showcase yeah, yeah. Before we and um i will i will i will i will show my screen uh with um with a dev post environment so this is the this is the environment where you can see um uh, our uh, our uh, uh, registration form for that matter, so you can you can see how uh, the, the the hackers uh, can uh, can join our hackathon, and all the information, all the all the prizes that you can win, all the all the rules uh, uh, for attending the hackathon tutorials will be there. Tutorials, tutorials, all the resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you are if you are, have the ambition to actually create your own web 3d app or if you want to explore it or whether you are a developer and you want to develop new ideas this is the moment where you can sign up if you are in manila uh, based in manila if you're not based in manila no worries we have managed it to create a potential partnership with the market leader in organizing online hackathons which we are uh, aiming for to organize it four times a year every quarter and you will be able to manage it. Uh, I mean, attend the hackathon from wherever you are on the world. Um, but more information about that later. Yeah. But for now, if you're from yeah. Manila and you would like to join it, or if you're from near to Manila, make sure to sign up. So community growth. Finally, we are starting slowly but surely to um, work on the community side. Because yeah, product first. We want to have interesting discussions with the community regarding the product onboarding and user onboarding, and we are starting to sh see some momentum right now. It doesn't mean that yeah, we're indeed. on full, full throttle, full speed yet, but no. something is happening here, and I think we have to yeah, share it on a weekly basis, yeah. perhaps, yeah. because now we are rounding action. Yeah, we're on. Uh, 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 we're getting some eyeballs. That's for sure. That's for sure. And and we we haven't spent uh, a lot of money for for marketing. And and this will this will be extended uh, later, definitely. Right, right. So uh, let's go through it very quickly. The LinkedIn company badge is. If you haven't joined it yet, please find search for us in LinkedIn and uh, follow us because we have some interesting updates there as well. Uh, community has been uh, growing, almost doubling 
in just a matter of, I think, one month. Uh, yeah. Media block, yeah, slowly but surely growing. Twitter mm -hmm. lost a little bit of followers, but that's fine. We are just going to continue the journey there. And uh, we see some action, traction as well. Telegram, yeah, what can we say? We have uh, a group now where we are actually onboarding users, uh, assisting users uh, regarding the product, where we actually build this, this community, a strong community, uh, because that's our focus point. Not just yeah. to, to discuss price action or to, to um, no, that's not what we are doing in Telegram. It's purely focused on building and assisting the audiences, mm -hmm. which, is the, which are the ringmasters, obviously, and yeah. other yeah. interesting parties that are in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Following channels are still in exploration stage, Instagram, TikTok, Discord. But maybe a good thing to share is that we are onboarding an interesting community strategist, community builder, community manager. Um, Let's talk which about has it. a uh, yeah 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 he has a, a, a it's a he and he has a great um, uh, background in uh, in uh, community growth. Uh, he worked with uh, Polygon, with Polkadot, with uh, Fractal, uh, Fractal, um, and Ocean Protocol. Yeah, and these guys, um, uh, well, they they. Um, they were very, very fond of uh, of this guy, and this guy is very fond of us. So <laughs> we're uh, gonna to work uh, with him uh, in the in the near future, and he will make some uh, some 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 strategic uh, plans and uh, marketing campaigns for our right. uh, community to grow. Yeah. To grow exactly, and that will be the moment where we will see the the figures going up rapidly. Yeah. Because this is just yeah, yeah, yeah. organically, and we want to have it multiply it with at least uh, ten times for sure. Yeah, of course. And yeah, that's definitely. the guy that would be able to manage it, and he will be on yeah. joining us very soon. Yeah. Token listing and onboarding communities. Well, this is basically a strategy that he will also do. The guy uh, who we have been talking about for communities, he will execute this as well to actually onboard and to assist and to create some noise in different types of token communities. Um, so what does it mean actually, if we are onboarding token communities and token projects, Eric, what can they, what's, well, what's in yeah. it for them to join us? Yeah, what's in it for them? Uh, well, there are a lot of communities, a lot of uh, great ideas that don't have a product yet. And that's something we can solve. Is this what you're saying? So like they're just doing having a uh, uh, their token out and just have based on price speculation only without real utility yeah, behind it. Indeed, yes, indeed, indeed. Like uh, uh, for uh, uh, a great example is uh, Shiba Inu a few years ago. Mm -hmm. It has a great community, a lot of a lot of traction. Uh, then. Um, uh, 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 Elon Musk was talking about it and uh, others were talking about it mm -hmm. and they all bought in and it it it, multi uh, it did multiple access yeah but the really but the real utility was not there so mm -hmm. what it did in in essence was was it it, it just it did this well it, you you got an exponential growth and then it's it flattens mm -hmm. And what we do is solve the problem for those meme points. Uh, they can utilize Circus to create their own product on which they can utilize their token. So now this token has a feature on multiple features mm -hmm. within that uh, DApp. And uh, this is what a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, uh, community communities and projects run into it's very expensive and time consuming and difficult to create an dapp or de or, or develop an dapp from scratch yeah and what we did is is well i i, I talked to you uh, before uh it we offer a no code solution and a low code solution so on both ends 
it's easy to use and utilize uh, your IDs, your uh, build your IDs, and um, those those token communities can finally cool. utilize their own. Cool. Tokens. That being said, if you're a token yeah. community, if you have, you have a project, feel free to reach out to us, and we will onboard you right away. Eric, the grants we have started the um, process of reaching out to interesting blockchain projects that are providing grants in order to mm -hmm. grow together with our within their yeah. ecosystem and with the technology they are offering, and we want to build yeah. further on and to do basically marketing uh, activities uh, back and forth. Yeah. So we are still in the progress with reaching out to a lot of interesting blockchain projects. And I think Eric has the needs for more, perhaps more interesting connections with other blockchain projects in order to, yeah, um, explore how we can collaborate further together and make a bigger ecosystem for both of us, right? Is that... Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's it's a win win situation or maybe a win 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 situation. So for the for the exactly. blockchain, for us and for the user of the blockchain. Exactly. Yeah. So this so is work and, in and, progress. And this is work in progress. Uh, and I already mentioned IoTX, uh, yeah. and this is a great great example. Yeah. And the the the, the guys uh, from uh, uh, IoTX um, are very helpful to. Uh, uh, do some marketing activities with us yeah with 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 a goal to actually uh, find a way how we fully utilize each of our audience's Both. technology because we have yeah, obviously a goal with yeah. such collaborations and that's what we are looking for there with other yeah. interesting projects so feel free to yeah. reach out to eric for potential collaborations with that in that regards yeah cool yeah thanks yeah, cool. Next steps. Uh, we have already mentioned it, like the community team, uh, social media establishments. We are just doing little pokes here and there on social media, but the strategy will be rolled out by our new community manager. Um, mm -hmm. new, two me new team members are onboarding and will be onboarded on a short-term basis. Um, mm -hmm. The same for new partnerships. We have a couple of partnerships we want to uh, announced but that will be for later on next week so i would say like ah there's one thing other thing i want to mention as well the team members that we are onboarding is we are selecting selective amount of team members only based on a few criteria is which you have need you need to be passionate of course about what we are building the the, the revolution we are going through you need to have a significant amount of experience and established or worked with a big either a big brand or a big um crypto project blockchain project basically so yeah. that's what we are specifically looking for what high quality first with a compact team we are building and growing further yeah we're all about lean lean project uh, development yeah exactly yeah i guess that's cool. it for now yeah yeah Thank you so much, Falco, for elaborating on uh, on our uh, progress uh, and our first Likewise. Uh, Wawama. Yeah. Likewise. Interesting. Congrats. Point. Congrats. Exactly. Congratulations to all of us because I think this yeah. is helpful for not just for new the newcomers that are uh, excited about what we are building, uh, but also mm -hmm. the the ones that have have been backing us for a long time already. Yeah. And now it's yeah, time to definitely. show that why it's worth why it was worth it to be that patient right so yeah and yeah in essence no longer being the underdog <laughs> let's right? go for it thank you very much for watching be... there yes, over there okay on hubi we'll drop the link bye-bye guys okay. see you next time bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.